It's a week before closing on your home. There are high emotions, there's so many emails and signatures needed, and we just need to breathe because everything is gonna be okay. Watch this video until the end so you have a better understanding of what is happening during closing week and more importantly, what you need to be doing. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Stephanie Hernandez. I'm a real estate agent serving you to find the perfect home. I love helping Arizona residents and future residents who are moving here to the beautiful state of Arizona. You may call, text me, email me, whichever method you prefer, I am here to help you reach your real estate goals. If you're a little nervous or confused about buying a home, in this video, we're going to discuss what is happening that last week before you close on your house. Now, the home buying process is going to differ from state to state, so just be aware that this information in this video is specific to Arizona. My best advice during the last week of closing is to be calm and responsive when something is needed from you. The experts on your team, such as your realtor, your loan officer, your title officer, are all working behind the scenes to get you to your closing day. There are no small questions, so reach out to your expert team if you're feeling a little bit lost in the process. Okay, let's review the week. Seven days before you close, you should finalize your home insurance. Your loan officer will need this information as soon as possible. Six days before closing, I recommend you make a list of everything that needs a home address change. For example, schools, your driver's license, any important mail or subscriptions that you will need to make an update on your new mailing address. Creating this list will keep you organized and you can make those changes either before or after you close on your home. Five days before you close, you should call and schedule your new home utility services. Typically, it's recommended to begin your new utility services on the day of closing. This will allow for a smooth transition from the previous owners to you and possibly avoid any disconnection fees. Three days before closing, you should be receiving what's called a closing disclosure from your loan officer. This closing disclosure document outlines the final terms of the loan, including the interest rate and any fees. It's important you review this document with your loan officer and they'll be able to explain and answer any questions you may have. Two to three days before closing, you and your realtor are going to have a final walkthrough of the property. This is to ensure that everything is in the same condition to when you originally made your offer. I recommend you don't skip this and rely on your realtor to know which items to look for. One to two days before their closing, there is a lot of activity and a lot of communication that needs to happen between you and your real estate team to stay on track. The two main things that are happening are signing and funding. You are going to be signing the final paperwork to transfer property ownership and you will most likely have an appointment at the title office or complete your signing with a mobile notary. This appointment can take anywhere from 30 minutes to a full hour and you will be reviewing and signing documents such as the home deed, your loan terms, settlement statement, and other legal documents. Around this time, the escrow team will be collecting all of the funds. You will be receiving an estimated settlement statement and this document will break down how much your closing costs are and how much you as a buyer need to wire to the escrow account. Closing costs typically include your down payment and real estate fees. Common fees are the title search, appraiser, HOA, taxes, and loan origination. Your lender will also be wiring the loan funds into the escrow account to complete the transaction. And finally, you have signed all paperwork and funds have been collected. It's now time to close on your home. Woohoo! You made it. This would be the ideal week before closing. And if everyone is communicating, the closing day should run very smoothly. Now that you know what's expected from the final closing week, 
See my next video that specifically describes what is happening on closing day. Thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel to learn more, and to connect with me, you will find my contact information in the description, or you can use the comment section. Like this video if you found it helpful, and share it with someone who needs to know this information.